Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. This is Reginald T. Fluffy Bottoms the Third, because uh, for AKA. for health reasons, me and Corwin can't be in the same room. So this is this is my stand-in. He's a big he's a big fluffy, big fluffy friend. Hi, everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> uh, this, and I like fluffy things. This is our first test at uh, at doing remote recording. Uh, hopefully it works, and hopefully it leads to episodes that are usable. Uh, our first. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Oh, oh yeah, Corin's uh, here. Yeah, I'm. Not, I'm not here. I'm. Uh, I'm away right now. You don't know where I am. I could be, uh, I could be on a mountain. I could be jet skiing right now. It's a whisper quiet jet ski that he's got going on right now. I'm, I could be hiding in a Where's Waldo picture right Where's now. Where's Corwin? This is, this is quarantine, baby. I could be anywhere. So, uh, on, on the note of guess where Corwin is, on a related note, today we're playing Guess Cage. Uh... Guess We're Cage. playing Tabletop Simulator, uh, and this is the Nick Cage version of uh, of Guess Who. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll uh, we'll shuffle the cards two or three times. I'm gonna cut the cards, and then side note, guys, just advice for you for those of you trying to survive quarantine, and uh, there are a lot of really great multiplayer games you can just play with your friends on Steam and other other games like that. I highly recommend taking a look. I haven't. I've always played games more solo or with just Adam, but I basically live on multiplayer games these days. Yeah, I'm not good at uh, like. Oftentimes, I will like buy a multiplayer game with my friends and then play it three times and never play it again because I'm just bad at keeping up with things. But that's fine. So, so dear audience, this is my yeah. uh, this is my Nick Cage. Uh, and oh, here we'll flip the coin. Uh, call it in the air, Rowan. Can they, uh, are we are are they gonna be able to see my Nick Cage or are we? Yeah, uh... yeah, I've got. We're recording your screen, okay. so I'll be able to. Future this is, Adam. This is my Nick Cage, everybody. Yeah. All right. All right. So. All Ready? right. Ready? Flipping the solid in the air. All right. Heads. Ha ha! I win. I go first. Oh uh, shit! And actually, we've got a couple different uh, interesting game modes that we have planned here. Uh, but this first one, we're just gonna play. You know, straight up normal sauce. Straight up simple uh, sound. Let's see. Okay. Uh, is the is your Nicholas Cage a close up of his face? No. Okay. So now we're gonna go through and get rid of all the close cages. Uh, that one's borderline. Right. I'm leaving it. All right, your turn. All right. Here's here's my all question. Right. Is your Nicholas Cage? Is it obvious what your Nicholas Cage's profession is? Huh. I'm gonna go with no. No, it's not obvious. I'm all right. Say no. So I gotta flip all the obvious. I work at a place, Nick Cage's, which aren't a whole lot. Yeah, it's almost like it was a bad Uber. question. Ha ha ha! Well, I have to ask some bad ones, given how much I creamed you on practice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he he had one question that got rid of like half of his board. It was uh, it was rough. Alrighty. All right. Go okay. for it. Um. Hmm. Does your Nicholas Cage have short hair? I should specify. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And this this might be I might be screwing myself over here because my interpretation of short might be different from what Corwin's interpretation of short is. Thus is the danger of guess K. I've got quite a few nicks hidden away. I gotta try to figure something out. Yeah. Does does your Nick Cage? Yes, my Nick does cage. <laughs> Ah, uh, it does your Nick Cage. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say that would make it that would make it this one right here. Does your Nick Cage? Yes, yes, it's this one. Does your Nick Cage look like a bitch? I'm sorry, like a bitch. <laughs> Flip. 
for... <laughs> Adam, you didn't say it right. You gotta say, does your Nick Cage look like a bitch? Hey, no, whoa, shit. Fuck, rewind time. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. I knew that I knew you could do that. So put your fucking throw it around. I always forget right, that right. that button exists for just a second whenever Corwin flips a fucking table and I have a panic attack. Yeah, this game has the option to flip tables, which is the greatest thing ever. Does your Nick Cage look happy? Um, I'm going to go with no. Definitely not. All right, well, let's get rid of Fun Boy Brown. And, um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's definitely happy. You have interesting he's definitions. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> I love these bees. I'm so happy about these bees. <laughs> All right. All right. right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Come at me, bro. Okay. Oh, fuck. That really got me. Um. Okay. Here's a fun one. Uh, is your Nick. Cage, uh, is your Nick Cage's head covered? Yes. Aha! Oh, buddy. Oh, that's a good narrow down right there. We're running out of cages. Freedom does is at your, hand. Does your Nick Cage, uh, All right, all right, all right. Does your Nick Cage crash an airplane <laughs> to save his baby girl? Uh, no. No, he does not. Damn it. Well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that I'm pretty sure that there are two Nick Cages from <laughs> Con Air on this board, and you already narrowed down one of them earlier. <laughs> I forgot to start yeah. the timer. <laughs> nah, I'm not there to do it for I'm you. I'm alone you know, I'm so in a room, that. and I fucked it up already. <laughs> <coughs> okay, um, is your Nick Cage... I first saw my end die, so I was like, I'm just gonna start throwing. Is Oops. your Nick Cage wearing cloth? Nope. Okay. Does your Nick Cage like bees? He does not. See, I, I should I should say that because I, I will go ahead and say that, no, that is not my Nick Cage. But you asking, does he like bees in that picture? Does he look like he enjoys them bees? Let's pull it up close. Does he look like he's having a fun bee adventure, a, a, a bee excursion, oh, you know if what? you will? He looks like he's singing to them. I would oh. say that he's, he's serenading he's his really queen. Getting... He's really getting in on those bees. Whoa. I accidentally zoomed in on a different Nick Cage, and it was unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is your Nick Cage Batman? Yes, my Nick Cage is Batman. Woo! Adam wins. He does win. Adam's the best. Flip. Flipped the table. And I don't know the fast way to reset the table to the beginning of the game, so I'm just going to reload the game entirely. Now we'll Work. shuffle the cards. Can I, can I point card. out that it, Shuffle up and it's, deal. It's, uh, it's rather dangerous that we're out here playing in the middle of a road. Like, this isn't the best spot for us. Admittedly, oh, wow. cars are coming out here probably. 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 We don't know. That's. But we don't know. But it could be like a little four-wheeler just could come speeding around the corner. I wish I was better at manipulating tabletop simulator because I probably have a model of a car that I could spawn in. But I don't want to take away from the episode too hard. Fair. All right. Uh, draw. All right. So we're gonna play with a new rule this time. Did you see my Nick Cage just now? I did not see your Nick Cage. Okay. I was looking. Cool, cool, cool. Because uh, I definitely, uh, I definitely flipped it before I put it in his hand, in my hand. So, uh, yeah. No. So new rule this time is we are going to be. We're only allowed to ask about the. Uh, like what movie the thing the image comes from like we can ask genre we can ask like specific like I can ask is he from Wicker Man uh, but uh, like so that that's well, gonna I might be not know. our uh, I may not have seen Wicker Man so then I might not know for sure yeah exactly 
Uh, so that's going to be our difficulty this round because some of these things, I have no idea what they're from. So like, like muscly, muscly Robert Pattinson looking fucking Nick Cage in the middle here. What? Huh? Uh, <laughs> or there's this, this one out down here. that looks like Bruce Campbell. I, was say, I don't know what he's from, but he makes me feel confused feelings in my undergrowth. <laughs> oh God, it's a growth. You got to clean that stuff up, man. <laughs> Do some manscaping. I should not be alone in a room. It's really fucking it, with me. <laughs> make it look like a bonsai. Well, also, you know, that room, like, you give it a sound suppression, it's, uh, it can get a little interesting in there. Yeah, well, I also have my headphones on so that I can hear you better, so that I don't have to rely oh, on the... Oh, double suppression. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's weird. Like, I thought there was something wrong with my microphone, because I'm just like, man, I sound quieter than I usually do. <laughs> it's because I'm wearing a fucking headset, because I'm an idiot. That's funny. All right. Call the call the right. uh, call the the coin. Coin is the word that I lost. I why? All right. What? Where? So where'd our friend right coin here. go? All right. Call it in the air. All right. The heads. This is a this is terrible at like you you click roll and it's supposed to roll the. Uh... All right. Call it in the air. But but I got heads. Oh, did you? I couldn't hear you. Yep. It, uh... There, I got heads again. All right. Cool. All right. You All go right. first. All right, I'm going first. Does your Nick Cage belong in a action movie? Um, no. All right. Well, I'm going to get rid of... I don't know what that one is, but he looks like he's in the house. <laughs> he's wearing a suit, so that's lawyer Nick Cage. I'm going to let him go. Action lawyer. Uh, they didn't have action movies in black and white days, so that's going to go. <laughs> And uh, this one looks like a wizard, so he stays. This is a brilliant this plan, by the way. Can't buy. It can't possibly be that one. I fucking love this plan. <laughs> like, no, no action movies have people with goggles like that. And he's down to fuck, not down to fight. Um, um I mean, that's one form of action. I will say that's a form of action. Uh, good point. And let's be real. Let's just not even. We're not even going to talk about that one. I Okay, and, we're not uh, going to talk about that one. <laughs> we we'll talk about that one. I think. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Is that from Kick Ass? I Kick -Ass, I will neither. Stays. I, like, if you want to ask me if that's from Kick Ass, you're going to have no. to use your next turn to ask nope, me that, that yes or no question. <laughs> that one stays. <laughs> oh fuck. All right, I think I got uh, all the Nick Cages I'm willing to, because I don't know about that brick. He could do anything with that brick. Nobody knows about that brick, son. <laughs> no one knows about that brick. And this face <laughs> is either his this is either his vinegar strokes. I was going to say it's one form his, of action uh, or another. Who knows? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm jumping a little. Right, I'm done. Please go. And nut. Oh, sorry. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> um, get that Nick nut. Let's see. Is your <laughs> fuck? Okay. <laughs> um. Um. Is your Nicholas Cage from a supernatural movie, like the eerie supernatural sort of genre, mm. like ear, like fantasy, fantasy supernatural, like fantasy. Yeah, let's let's go with fantasy. Is your character is your cage from fantasy? I don't believe so. Okay. I mean, I fantasize about Nick Cage often, but that's neither here nor there. And now it is dawning on me that that was a really bad question. All these Nick Cages, not fucking one of them, is from Gone in sixty seconds. Oh. That's the God that's sad. Damn it! That, that this game is me. trash. How dare it? No, I'm just kidding. Holy Christ, Batman! I want pizza. I'm gonna get one of those later. Dude, we're oh, in the right. middle of an episode. <laughs> I know, not right now. <laughs> later. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Like Thursday. All right. Does your Nick Cage? Uh, this isn't gonna be a good question. But I'm gonna give it a go. Does your Nick Cage belong in a fantasy setting? All right, fantasy setting, you say? Um, um, 
Um, no. <laughs> I don't know why it took so long to answer. I'm that one. I was like I'm staring at the board of cages in one. front of me instead of the one that's in my hand. <laughs> God damn it. And <clears throat> I, uh, I actually think superheroes qualify. Aha, so you just taught me something. Aha! There you go. These? Cause it, All right. Yeah, so interpretations matter. And now that I learned that he counts that as that, aha! Ah! Okay. I'm gonna, I, this, it, feel free to disallow this question if you feel like it breaks the rules, but... Does your Nicolas Cage... It's a bullshit look... question, Adam. I don't want any of that bullshit questioning again. How dare you? But... What an offensive question. This is a children's show. Does your Nick Cage... Fuck. No. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, does your Nick Cage look like he's not from a movie? Does your Nick Cage look like it's a modeling picture that's not actually from a fucking movie? I want to answer that question but uh, like uh, one way, but that would be lying. So I have to answer correctly <laughs> and say <laughs> he looks like he's in a movie. Okay. Good question, though. Thank you. I, I thought so. I'm going to leave this guy up here because he might be from Selfie the Movie or something like that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Does your Nick Cage... Look like, you know what? We keep making the joke. I'm just gonna go and say, does your Nick Cage look like he is about to get down on some pornographic material? I guess that's a question about what movie he's in. Um, about to get down on some pornographic. I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> I keep no. He does not. All right. Well, then I'm flipping. I'm flipping vinegar strokes, Nick. I'm f I'm f flipping anal sex, Nick. <laughs> I'm flipping uh, porn, Nick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that mustache, um, it's uh, Definitely, it's that borderline. Connor Nick's going down. At least that Connor Nick goes down, because that's a Connor Nick who's about to give it to oh, him. Oh, both of those Connor Nicks and, go down. Did you Like, he had a very happy marriage, and so ooh, he... Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. And I'm going to flip this one, too, because that one does not look like anything other than something really German is happening in that one, so let's go ahead and flip that one over. I don't know what that, that means! I can't, this is, right. as with so many things, I can't tell <laughs> if I should edit that out, because I don't know if it's <laughs> offensive, because I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> this is just how Corwin do. Um, well, he, he used, used to just edit out all my bad stuff, so now I gotta make it a challenge. This is true, yeah. Keep it in there. Yeah, I can't, I gotta interpret. I've had, I've had to adapt to yeah. him. <laughs> um, hit my mic just now, that was fun. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna steal one of your questions. Is he from an action movie? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Hmm. Shit. Okay. Well, I can get rid of all those. I. Uh, yeah. Now that we've now that we've gotten rid of this guy on both of our sides, this is from National Treasure. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Raising Arizona is a comedy. Lord of War is not a good movie, though it doesn't count as action. Because it... anyway, uh, yeah, your turn. Oh, I think that one's Snake Eyes. No, that's Snake Eyes. I don't know. Anyway, uh, go ahead. Ah, oh, damn, damn. I gotta ask questions. Can't you stand here? Staring? Shit, dude, you got uh, quiet does... for long enough that I thought something broke. And uh, oh. God damn it! Okay, sorry. I. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm, I've got my real I... co-host next to me. He's he's a big fluffy bear. I want fluffy bear. That's what he sounds like. Mm -hmm. Is your Nick Cage in a war movie? Um, no. Um, huh. I get. Oh, like this is getting harder. <laughs> This is definitely it is a little tricky. This is definitely getting more difficult. Um, hmm. Is your Nick Cage from a comedy? I don't think so. Um, is your Nick Cage from? Does your Nick Cage look like he's in a comedy? 
Hmm. So, like... Your, your questions are difficult. Because you said looks like. Like... Yes, I have to because I don't know all of the Cage movies. Okay, though I've seen many of his films. Uh, okay, so I, I will don't... I will say that this is heavily up for interpretation, but I'm gonna say yes. So he does look like he's in a comedy. Okay, I like uh... how we're getting into like hypotheticals now, where it's just like, could he potentially be in a comedy? All right, um, you're your go, buddy, Brad. I know, I know. I'm way behind. I'm not doing well here. Um, Sorry, I still have no idea. If, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've already flipped yours over. Maybe. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Is your Nick Cage from a uh, a depressing movie? Whether it like. I, I, I don't care if it is meant to be depressing or if it just makes you depressed watching it. That, well, isn't that most Nick Cage movies? Like that doesn't, it, No, it's like I'll let 50, you re-ask 50. that question. It, it is 50-50 okay. as to which... Then I'm going to say I'm gonna say yes. Okay, from a from a depressing Nick Cage movie. Okay. Um... Oh. Phew. Glad you flipped that one. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> now, what? No. Now you're making me doubt myself. Um, is is your Nick Cage? Uh, is your Nick Cage from Raising Arizona? Uh, no, no, he is not. All right. Uh, is your Nick Cage an amateur beekeeper? <laughs> Bees. It is. Yeah. Bees! Woo! Oh, that's fun. Bees! bees! As soon as I drew that card, I was like, I got bees! Alright. Uh, uh, my my Nick Cage was, uh, nut. was Brick. Nut! Nut! <laughs> God damn it. Nut! Nut! And reset the board. <laughs> ah! All right, so, uh, <laughs> the, oh, no, I went, to, but I, God, look what you did. <laughs> oh, All right. man, I am the I, worst. I, yeah, we're doing a show, Corwin. Uh, <laughs> All right, so this time we're not gonna, we're, it's, it's similar to what we just did. But um, we're going to go a brand new direction, everybody. This is going to be my favorite one we're going to do. This one is going to be, how does a Nick Cage make you feel? Yeah, this is all about all about feeling. In this, yeah, all about feeling your cage. Uh, feel the cage. No, I just want one card. Thank you. Please and thank you. All right. I've got my card. It is in my... Uh... <laughs> oh, Boise. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I've got my cage. Do you have your cage, sir? I have my cage. All right. Coming out of my cage, and I've been doing just fine. Uh, I call it in the air. Gotta get down because I want it all. I threw it off the table. You'll never know. I uh, call it in the air. Tails. That is Tails. You go first. Does your Nick Cage make you feel excited? No. Definitely not. <clears throat> All right. Can you hear that bell in the background? Because I've got an obnoxiously loud bell. I... To the top of my street. I heard it when you talked. Like, very briefly, I heard it. Okay. What was my question? I said, does he, uh... <laughs> Make me feel does happy. Does he excite you? Or excited, yeah. It wasn't happy. Right. Does he excite you? You best flip that shirtless <laughs> Nick. <That's... laughs> oh fuck! Um, I have missed recording episodes. Let me tell you, folks. <clears throat> <laughs> it has been, it has been a while. All right, are you are you good over there? Um. 
Yeah, I guess. Okay. Does your Nick Cage make you feel uncomfortable? Yes. <laughs> Shit, it's all of them. Shit. <laughs> uh, go with that. No on those. And just a reminder, do not correct me. If I accidentally flip yours over, don't don't say anything. Same. Same. Um Does uh Hang on, hang on. I'm not I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't think he would make anybody uncomfortable or that guy. He seems pretty benign. He's too sexy to not make you uncomfortable. For sure. And he's got silly glasses, so that makes sense. For everyone who can see my screen, this is not a effective strategy. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing on your screen. I can see your your pointer, but <clears throat> hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> can you see my card? No, I did move my screen around so that I was underneath the table on your side, looking up, <laughs> and it just shows it just shows a kitty. So. <laughs> Very good. Uh, future Adam, remember to cut over to his thing for that. All right, it's your turn. All right, all right, all right. Does your Nick Cage? Um, I, my last question was, does your Nick Cage make you feel excited? Yes. You said yes. No, I said no. So, you said no. I said no. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> it Very different. Different. <laughs> There's one uh, thing. Pictures are kind of flip. It's a 50 50, and you, you heard wrong. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh geez. That's very funny. To me, Adam. All right. Um. <laughs> he's on fire. That can't be exciting. Batman's. All right. <laughs> he know he does not make you feel excited. Okay. Does your Nick Cage. Make you feel um <laughs> clean, clean. Hmm. Make me feel clean. You know what? Yes. Wait, no. Hmm. This is ooh. This Not is a clean. This is a big interpretation sort of thing. Uh, they all are. Do you, With Nick Cage, it's never simple. Do you want to rephrase your question in some way? Like, because, like, it's one of those where, like, looking at him, do I feel, like, a sense of cleanliness? Or looking at him, do I feel clean by comparison? Like, there, those are two so different questions. Um, let's go with the first one. Okay, uh, then yes. The answer is yes. Yes. All right. This is so... <laughs> this is such a weird game of guess who. <laughs> um, All right. Uh, let's see. Does your Nick Cage make you feel threatened? Yes. <laughs> I just, I love it when you're able to give an answer <laughs> to a question without any sort of, like, uncertainty. Uh, these two are Does cool. your... Does your Nick Cage... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I just fucking. Does your, it's so crazy. Anyway, I love this. Does your Nick Cage feel disappointed? Does it make me feel disappointed? Um. Or or does does your Nick Cage like? Does he look disappointed? Mm, nope, that's a regular. I was one. just gonna that's, say that's, that's not, a regular that's question. This... You. Yeah, Fuck. that doesn't work. <laughs> does this does your Nick Cage make you 
feel disappointed. Um. Yeah, actually, yeah. 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 All right. For sure. You don't like? You'd be disappointed if I went to jail. Uh, that Nicholas Cage just says disappointment all over his face. Wait, wait. You're flipping and... over the ones that you. I said yes. He does make me feel disappointed. Okay. Well, you would never be disappointed in a multicolored glasses, Nick Cage. Um, considering your love for uh, happiness, that wouldn't be that one. That's and my love for Con Air. Yeah. And uh, I think all uh, right. Okay. Uh, I'm zeroing it down right now. I am also zeroing it. What? What'd you just? <laughs> Oh, I'm getting rid of... Oh, no, that didn't work. God! Can, can you hit the undo button? I can. I can't. All right. Wait, wait, well, okay, wait, uh, there we go. Uh, there we okay, go. Okay, we're, okay. We're good, we're good. My my intention was to clear out the screen, so I only had but you, the cages that I had left. You threw them off the table instead of doing that, which is what you wanted to do. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So you're doing the old re-rack in, uh, in beer pong here. Yeah. This is a beer pong re-rack yeah, right now. Yeah, you're re-racking your cages. And you're welcome, and you're welcome to do a re-rack should you feel that you want to. I would like your cages in a pyramid shape, please. You got it. <laughs> um, My favorite re-racking was I would always, uh, I would ask for something that was blatantly not real, <laughs> and people would be like, what the fuck is that? It's and like, I'd like a quadrangle, like I, please. That's... I, I would ask for an Abe Lincoln. Ah, yes. And they were like, what the hell is he? And I was like, the great emancipator? Come on. <laughs> Figure it out, fucker. Um, I already asked about being threatened by him. Um, hmm. Hmm. Does your Nick Cage make you feel manic? Like, you, you look Describe. into the eyes... You look into the eyes and you're just like, am I crazy? Or is he, like, I know, is it me? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Does, oh, I would also like to request a re-rack. Okay. Um, I would like a house, please. All right. I'm not sure I have enough cards left to, uh, to make it into a house, but I will do my best. Now you figure out your question while I'm doing this. Don't All wait right. on me. Does your Nick Cage feel hopeless? My Nick Cage feel hopeless. I I would say yes. Looking into this Nick Cage's eyes, he makes me feel hopeless. That's a that's a big yes. Is this is this a good enough house for you? I didn't have many Aldo. cards. I'll do. I'll do. <laughs> Re rack your cages. I. <laughs> All right. Is it? All right. Is it my turn? This is actually yeah, making it more difficult now that I think about it. Um. <laughs> um. Does your Nick Cage make you feel like you don't have enough bricks in your life? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny question. No, he does not make me feel like I don't have enough bricks in my life. All right, goodbye, Brick Cage. <laughs> does brick your Cage. <laughs> does your Nick Cage feel like he's about to drop a best hitting uh, emo album? Uh, no. Goodbye, emo Cage. <laughs> Coming out of my cage. Do it just fine. <laughs> um, does your Nick Cage make you feel like you should go to the dentist? Actually, no. Okay. Does your Nick Cage uh, make you feel like there's something missing in your life? No. Does your Nick Cage make you feel 
like he should really put his fucking tongue back in his mouth. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one of us is right? <laughs> well, Mr. Cage, uh, well, you gotta ask a question. <laughs> is this your Nick Cage? Uh, no, you have to ask a question about how that Nick Cage makes feel. <laughs> Does uh, this... Uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Here, wait, wait, I, I will, I, I'm gonna steal your turn. Does this Nick Cage make you feel disappointed because you lost the game? No. Does this Nick Cage make you feel disappointed because you lost the game? No. <laughs> <laughs> well then. All right. So. Shall we do a reveal? This was my Nick Cage. I uh, I think you went astray when you asked if he made me feel disappointed. I uh, because this guy, like just looking at his face, it makes me feel disappointed. It's like uh, extreme home makeovers, Nick Cage, right there. When did I, when did I flip over Ghost Rider? Oh, I didn't see when you flipped him over, but I was very clear on my answers. I was shocked that, like, you're like, does he feel threatening? Uh, threatened? And I was like, yeah, yeah, he does. Well, but he's a hero. Then, That's yeah, that is where he, I got okay. it wrong. He is a anti-hero. He is a scary. I go around and kill people. He works for the fucking devil. No. You gotta know your ghost rider. Spirit of vengeance. Right? Right? And then you and then you ask, like, but does he have crazy eyes? <laughs> and his one of his actual powers is he makes you go insane well, no, by I, looking into your I eyes. I know that. I, I'm still arguing that he doesn't feel threatening to me because he's he only hurts bad people. Uh, you know, I'm a just, good person. Just off of I'm not off threatened. Of this movie, he's he hurt people who weren't bad people. Well, by mistake. I think you're a bad person because you saw that movie <laughs> a couple of times. Oh, oh no, the table. <laughs> Strength check. It actually rolls Strength a d twenty to see how strong your table flip is. That's amazing. That's awesome. All right, so that was... Uh, all right, guys. Well, that was Nick Cage. I hope you all enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, that was um, Guest Cage. That was a lot of fun for uh, for me, at least. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that one. Look out, there's a uh, car coming. No. Uh, <laughs> so, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. I think we might play some more tabletop simulator games because this worked out uh, really well. Uh, pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. I'm going to make a recommendation this time around. There is a uh, show on Disney Plus called Prop Culture. That, uh, that Corwin and I have both uh, gotten into. Uh, it's all about this. Uh, he's a prop collector who goes through and like they gave him access to the Disney archives and also he's got his own private collections and he goes through the history of some of these like iconic movie props and like reunites them with people who were in the movie and stuff. Like the the Mary Poppins episode was very emotional for the uh, for the people in that because like they're you know it. It was like the child actors who are now, you know, 60. Uh, I got very emotional watching the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids episode because, you know, I wanted to be an inventor when I was younger, and it's probably because of that movie. Uh, Corwin got very, uh, very emotional over the Muppets because they were a big part. Oh, I also got emotional because of them. Anyway, uh, yeah, you guys should great. Go check, check it, it out. out. Bye. Well, bye. <laughs>